guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Well, it's a YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube. Um, <laughs> okay. Subscribe, like, all <clears throat> things. Drop some comments. Talk to us right, in our comments. Cold stone. I got yes. some heat bar. <clears throat> <laughs> Anywho, we are sharing with you today how we chose our baby names. If you are new or have no idea what's happening in this video, we are pregnant with two identical twin girls, and we're sharing how we chose names. But the names are already we're revealed. Pregnant. The names are what? okay, honey. The names are already revealed on Instagram. But this is how we chose names, and even at the very end, we'll do some like backup names that we didn't share. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna let Daniel start us off. Oh, okay. And then I will fill in more detail. All right. So the first, well, obviously we thought we were <clears throat> going to be having one child, and then shocker, twins. Mm -hmm. uh, but we thought our first child, Asher was going to be a girl up until the gender reveal. And I had a very strong name if he was going to be a girl. Um, so since he was a boy, I still had this strong name if we were going to have a girl next. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when I found out we got twins, it was like, okay, the first one's coming out. I didn't know how it worked if they, if you know right away, but you do know right away which one's coming first. So that Can we name- pause right there? Why? That was a question on Instagram. <laughs> That someone had for for us is how do you know what which, one's which one first. or which one is going to get what name? Mm -hmm. So something that I didn't know, we didn't know until we got pregnant with twins, is that once they're kind of locked in position, they're the same exact baby during every single scan. That's closest to the exit is the baby they call baby A, and then baby B is the one that will come out second. So if you're doing a normal birth, the one closest to the exit is baby A. So that's the name. That's the baby that we gave the name that we had already had before Asher was born. Well, that's, you just gave it away. So the names are A and B. Okay, come on. I wanted to make this video <laughs> short, honey. That's a funny joke. <laughs> um, so the first baby is Isabel Marie. Mm -hmm. And do we talk about the middle name too? That's just going to take too long. That another just video? Effective in your communication. Okay, so my 100 year old grandpa. He said, hey, these are two names that I thought that would be really good, Rose and Marie. And I said, well, we already have our names picked out, but thanks, those are pretty cute. I told Nia that, mm -hmm. and she goes, oh my gosh, my grandma Linda, who passed away this year, um, her middle name was Marie. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved the name Rose, too, to have as mm -hmm. a middle name. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, here we go. I think we locked that in, too. So number one is Isabel Marie. Mm -hmm. And Isabel means? Pledge to God. Pledge to God. We like the meaning. Yeah. We always wanted names with meaning. Always. And I just love the nicknames that you can have with Isabel. Mm -hmm. Izzy, Belle, Belle Poco. Isa. Izzy. Sure. Let's get Latino with it. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> and then, you doing baby two? Yes. Go for it. No, you, I want you to go over how we got the names and I have other things to share. I'm All right. Eating ice cream. Number two was all Nia. She mm -hmm. brought it up. I wasn't a big fan right from the get, to be honest. I was like, well, I never thought of that. And is that even really a name? Or, mm -hmm. you know, I never heard of that name before. Um, and I had some other names. But what? So, the name for baby B literally just came to me. Like, I was just thinking about life. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought of the name and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wonder what the meaning is or if there's meaning or if it, even if it's a real name. It just like popped into my mind. It was like, for me, very meant to be. I personally really want unique names for our children. Isabel is not necessarily unique, but it is beautiful and classic yes. and all of that. And I love it. And then the name for our second baby of the twins is Zariah. And it literally just popped into my head. And I was like, oh, that's pretty. I wonder if there's any, like, I hope there's some good meaning behind it. And so Zariah means um, helped by God. And it means radiant and blossom. Okay, so let's back up. because wow, This is getting so long. Well, here's the deal. I wasn't completely on board with Zariah. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Obviously, if you've been following us in our journey with the twins, we've had some scary moments um, going through a thing called TAPS, mm -hmm. where when a uh, baby is getting less um, blood flow, oxygen to the brain, it can be very bad and even fatal. Mm -hmm. So baby B, 
was struggling um, and has been struggling a few different times. Right now, everything's good. We're in normal ranges and we're almost there. Um, she didn't tell me till after. She said, oh my gosh, I looked up what Zariah means and it means helped by God. Mm. And we felt like it was just a miracle that things were reversed and when she wasn't doing well, uh, that we had a lot of prayers, we were praying, and that definitely God helped um, in this miracle that ended up keeping her safe and protected and alive. So yeah. we were going with Isabel Marie and Zariah Rose are yes. the names. And I love the names quickly. So Daniel mentioned his grandpa like randomly saying Marie and Rose. And we're like, um, not his first names, but he mentioned it to me. And as you said, I got a little emotional with Marie and I was like, I've actually been thinking about that as a middle name and it does flow really well. Mm -hmm. One thing, so there's a little Disney like touch to each of the names for me because Isabel, like Belle, and we're spelling it at the end, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, like Belle from Disney, um, oh is a little bit of Disney touch, just a, t a sprinkle, a touch. And then for Zariah, and then this can transition us into next part of this video which i'll try to make shorter i always liked briar rose and i love alliteration so briar bucko i feel like that sounds so pretty but briar and to tie it back to disney i used to work at disney i used to be friends with sleeping beauty and her name growing up was briar rose and i just thought that was so pretty the b and the alliteration all the things like i wanted the name briar a lot but it means like rosy thorn bush and I'm like, or th it means thorny, thorn. thorny rose bush. Like it's like, yeah. doesn't have like a deep meaning. And I yeah. was like searching, like, is there any other meaning for Briar anywhere on the internet? No. So Zariah Rose kind of sounds like Briar Rose and it's pretty. So it still has that like hint of Disney in it. Yes. Now quickly with a short explanation, what other names did we like? You ask well, I like the number one name that you had said you originally kind of had wanted, mm -hmm. and name you wanted since you were like 15 or 16, mm -hmm. was Abigail. Mm -hmm. um, and even Abigail Rose sounds really beautiful. And Izzy and Abby, that sounds, mm -hmm. you know, the twin. Isabel, thing. Abigail. Yes. Uh, but my cousin's name is Abigail. Mm -hmm. Abby, shout out. What's up, Abby? Booko. Mm -hmm. uh, not that that was even an issue um, to have another... Abby Booko or Abigail Booko. I think there's I don't want family names. Seven John Bookos. Exactly. In, in there's my so family. many repetitions of names in Daniel's family. It's only John. That's the only one. David. Oh yeah, there's a few Davids. Yeah. But there isn't for any girls. But the and still sure middle names, like your that. aunt's name is Joy, and then Hannah's middle name is Joy. Like there's so much repetition of names in the Booko family. And I'm like, no. Individual names for our children. It's the only reason that we're not going with Abigail originally but then we found the meaning of Zariah and it all just like felt perfect so yes Abigail Abby because Isabel and Abigail is he and Abby like yes yeah. yes it flows beautifully yeah, and it? it's biblical yes. yes yes um we did have like a 12-hour window after I first posted um like we're gonna share the name soon where we second guessed the decision to go with Zariah just like a few hours because so many people commented saying are you going to go with biblical names like Abigail? Yeah. Oh, I think Abigail sounds beautiful. And I'm like, where are you guys coming from with yeah. this? Like these, that was our second most, like almost chosen name. It might, at the 11th hour, who knows? I don't think so. Who I really knows? don't think so. I, I really feel connected to Zariah. She might come out and say, and we know, I'm Abigail. And when we talk about babies, we're like, <laughs> we're like, Zariah is moving or is it? So like, we're Yeah, we connected. do like to give names before they come out so that we can already feel like we're talking deeply to them, them. And deeply connected yeah. yeah okay um other names so like i said i like alliteration you, you i also have love just a lot of berlin very unique berlin names. bucko doesn't that sound cool and like kind of edgy and like like a cool girl name berlin bucko sounds so cool to me but it's like there's nothing no other meaning for it besides it's like city. berlin and germany which and germany. there's a lot that happened there and bad things so obviously Whatever. I mean, we're not going to go into the details of that. It's like Berlin Bucco, Briar Bucco. I love those. We liked Abigail a lot. What um, other ones did I like? You didn't really have a lot of other ones. You were just I locked on Isabel. I, yeah, I, I was locked on to Isabel. Mm -hmm. And then I had made a list. 
of like other top girls. Oh, names. if we're gonna go like into a list, like other ones like I love travel names. I was like Folly. You Folly just Booker? wanted all these. Yeah, you just wanted all these. Uh, Folly means like fierce warrior, like a fierce warrior woman or something like that. Yes, that the meaning. I would have. I would have considered Bali Bucko. I think that's really cool. Um, I like Vienna. Vienna Bucko. Adelaide. Oh. Like these like locations around the world that are cool locations that are also beautiful names. Like I love travel themed names. I would have totally done any combination of travel theme names. I have so many friends that have twins that have um, really cute names that flow well together, but that wasn't our top priority. Oh, and these were the other ones I wanted. Okay, quickly, because we're already Isabel at 12 too. minutes almost. I completely forgot. I loved uh, uh, Aria because I remember that early it's on just in beautiful. conversation. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. and it uh, means music in Italian or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Izzy and Aria, or Izzy and Ari. Mm -hmm. um, and I liked also Ariana. I liked Ariana as well. Yeah. Isabel and Ariana. Is it Ariana? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Isabel and Zariah. I like Izzy and Raya. Those are nicknames that I like right now. I like now. Isa and maybe Rai Rai or Zizi. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Honestly, I think I'm going to call them by their first name for the most part. Oh my gosh, yeah. I have a meeting in 30 minutes. We gotta go. What the heck? I get home. Okay. Skirt! Subscribe, like, comment, all the things. Let's go!